Okay, so you've got a little bit of deception going on over there. People appearing to be what they're not. Uh, maybe you shouldn't be trusting anybody with any kind of information um, and keep everything to yourself. Especially your secrets. You've got the wisdom card over here and the book is closed. So it's showing, you know, keep every, everything um, that is important to you uh, to yourself. So keep that book closed. Don't tell people what is going on in your life. And you need to keep that um, very much a secret because you've got people that are out there to deceive you. And you are getting a, a very clear picture of what is going on as well. So clarity has been coming to you. Uh, maybe you have some choice to make um, and you're seeing things very, very differently than what you did in the past. You've got a, a better idea about what's going on. Maybe you do see this deception that is going on. So in the past, you've got a, some good news coming in, uh, but, you know, you needed to be a bit cautious about it. So it was stop, look, and listen for this, uh, you know, proceeding with caution, even though you received this good news. So going into the future, you've got some happiness coming in. There might be somebody that is quite faithful as a friend who will support you through this Um and um, it looks like, you know, uh, you're starting something afresh, something new with the support of this uh, this friend of yours. This is almost like the Fool card, so starting a brand new cycle of happiness over here. And there's some message coming in and it's going to be some, some surprise. It might be some good news, um, you know, because it is followed by the happiness card. So some, some sort of message coming in for you, a letter, some sort of um, correspondence uh, that's going to bring you a lot of happiness. So uh, just be caref careful of deception and make sure that you're keeping everything to yourself. Don't go around telling people what is going on in your life. So the main energies of the cards are the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups showing that, um, you know, there might be some uh, messages coming in from you, for you, um, you know, maybe some somebody from your past calling you up. Um, this could be an invitation as well. This could be even an apology from somebody that you know. So something coming in that's very, very emotionally based. The Knight of Cups also is to do with education and learning and studying and moving. You can see this knight is flying through the air. So it's about uh, st maybe studying information, moving away from an old emotional situation as well. And this could well be an offer that comes in to you or an apology that's coming in uh, to you. But something that really, um, you know, changes the way you think about things. Um, and this is the energy that is going through the cards. So what's happening with you? You've got the Queen of Cups and the Ace of Wands. Um, so you might be feeling a bit uh, down, uh, really, a bit uh, depressed, maybe been spending a lot of time by yourself. Uh, make sure that you're not, um, you know, trying to bury your... Um, um, depression or however you're feeling, you know, by drinking too much or overindulging. Uh, but you've also been thinking a lot about the past. She's looking at this cup that is in her hand, this empty cup, and she seems to be looking to the past. So you seem to be looking at uh, your past situations and maybe reviewing it in your head um, and feeling a bit down about it. But this is being crossed by the Ace of Wands. So some new energy, some new information, a new project Something brand new is coming your way. It's going to give you a, a greater sense of power. And you can see the, the rose is growing out of this really dry, um, uh, muddy kind of, well, it was, it's a dry landscape. There's nothing in this landscape except this rod and this rose now growing out of the ground. So something new, some new um idea or a new proposal something comes out of nothing for you and it, it's going to blossom into something wonderful so be aware that this energy is coming into your life now it's breaking through this cracked earth and is going to come and it's going to bring you a lot of happiness and joy with this um, ace of wands card here and it seems like with this queen of Cups, you are waiting for this. This is something that you're waiting. You're waiting for this new idea, this new energy, this new shift uh, to come and bring you this happiness. And it is going to be that. Uh, also, be, be careful, you know, the rose always has thorns. So, you know, it might, um, it is a wonderful prospect, but there might be a little bit of, um, um, you know, effort to try and get it to work. Uh, you know, just be cautious when you're considering uh, whatever this new proposal is, um, you know, there might be a little bit of um, pitfalls in it because they've got thorns. Uh, so you just have to be careful when you're considering it as well. But it is coming to change your life and bring beauty or bring happiness into your life. 
And because it's red rose, it's going to bring a lot of action, something very passionate that you're you're going to be doing. So it seems like in the past you've been faced with, um, you know, maybe you've been feeling very lonely and you've had people coming and, um, you know, making offers to you. You've had uh, maybe two offers that have come in with this four of cups. Uh, but it seems like, you know, you're not uh, ready to accept these offers. It seems like you're waiting for something else. He seems to be waiting for these two cups here rather than accepting the two cups behind him. So maybe there's some choice that you had to make that you've held back on making and, uh, you know, you're stuck in that situation. You seem to be stuck between these four cups. Um, so you can't, it's almost like you can't make a decision about what you want to do. And that's been going on for the last year. And, um, you know, it might be a, a job that you've had to choose. There's some sort of communication that's also been involved with this uh, decision-making process. Uh, but it seems like you've got these options in front of you and you really are at a loss at what to do. And it's caused a lot of anxiety and stress. You've got the Nine of Swords over here. So you really are agonizing about what to do next. Uh, you know, you are so caught up in whatever... Uh, thoughts and upset that you're in that you really can't see uh, anything um, a, a solution to the problem you seem to be extremely stuck here between uh, you know these four cups and these two people and also you're here in bed where you're not sleeping at night uh, having maybe nightmares anxiety very very stressed out as well so you've been been going through a lot of stress and maybe this is why it's brought in this um, you know air of depression here with this queen of cups um, but it looks like it's going to shift um, so you've got the seven of wands um, you know you've been standing and defending whatever you believe in uh, standing up for yourself and you know you've had to defend yourself against lots of problems you, you've got all these these six um, ones over here showing that there are problems and that people are, are not allowing you to move forward and, and you're having to stand up for yourself and alone. You're standing up alone for yourself. Uh, you're trying to protect yourself. You are getting guided, um, but you're having to protect yourself. And this has probably been the thing that has been stressing you out as well about you standing up for yourself and taking um, a stand. There's also this... Uh, landscape is really um, desolate as well so you know you've got a really big sense of loss or lack and there's a lot of clouds so it seems like there are a lot of problems that you have been facing recently as well so you've got the devil card over here and um, this is going to the future you know there might be somebody in your life that is causing a uh, manipulating you or causing you to have um, low self-confidence somebody that is um giving you all these problems um you know it could be a, a a capricorn person because this is the card that um signifies capricorn the devil and uh you know they're they're actually um you know pushing you around and um you know uh, telling you what to do maybe keeping you in a state of bondage if you like um you know and uh keeping you tied to a situation that you really don't want to be in it's also a card that is showing a lot of negativity uh, in thoughts. Um, the devil card sh is, is um, you know, showing that, you know, you might be feeling a bit down thinking about the past because the devil's looking to the past. And, uh, you know, you might be thinking about all the past hurts that you've got, been going through. And you're a bit stuck in that cycle right now. So what's happening with you? You've got the four of pentacles. Um, you seem to be hanging on to a lot of uh, things maybe emotions that you have from your past. You can see this person's got their feet on the coins over there and, you know, they're clinging onto this major coin over here uh, and they don't want to let go. And there seems to be the light um, angel and the dark angel next to him. So maybe you're going through episodes where, you know, uh, you know, you feel good one day and then you don't. These emotions are fluctuating and you're trying to you're trying to find your stability again. You're trying to find the things around you that keep you stable, keep you sane, if you like, um, and, you know, keep your emotions stable. So this is what you're going. You're going through some sort of conflict in your mind as well. And um, it's affecting your material reality. So it's also affecting your, you know, your, your lifestyle, the way you live, maybe your job, the way you work. It's got all these um, 
implications and you know you're battling uh, some kind of decision that you have to make in your head um, what to do next and you know you are weighing the pros and cons it seems you you're weighing the good points and the bad points uh, and you're trying to make a decision but you hear this this card is this person sitting on the chair and they look like they're very very stuck in what they're doing they really haven't seen a way out of that situation and they're perceiving it as lack because they're clinging onto this coin. You know, they're perceiving it that they don't have enough money and, you know, they're trying to not to spend, uh, you know, not to um, uh, go overboard in anything uh, while they make this decision. So uh, going to the future, and what's going on around you, sorry, is you've got the death card around you. So this is showing that uh, you are moving away from the old and you're transitioning into the new. You can see this horse is moving very fast over here and uh, this uh, knight has got uh, the sword in their hand and they're moving rapidly over whatever was destroyed. They're not even looking at it. They're moving away from it. So it looks like you will move away from all that is, um, you know, that have you have lost in your life and you will move away quite quickly. You will make that transition away from it pretty quickly. And what's come, what's on your mind? You've got the Knight of Swords. So you might have been facing some sort of legal battle that seems to have come into your life. Uh, with the Knight of Swords, he goes in and destroys everything and then rides off. So something that came in very quickly caused a lot of destruction in your life and then left. You seem to have two of these cards of here. So something had come in and destroyed everything. And with the Knight of Swords, this is also what came in. So there might have been a person that actually caused all this loss and problems uh, in your life. Um, it could have been an air sign, another air sign person. Uh, but definitely the energy is very, very uh, rapid and it's very, very aggressive. You can see this horse is, you know, almost, you can almost hear it scream. And you can see there's a lot of fire. So a lot of destruction was caused by this person that came in. It could have been something legal because the swords always indicate legalities. So something, some incident, some episode has come in and, you know, taken things out of your life quite quickly. Um, and caused a lot of destruction behind or a lot of loss. So going into the future, you've got uh, the Hermit card, uh, the High Priestess and the King of Cups. So uh, here you are walking away from everything that is no longer serving you and, you know, um, leaving it all behind and going in, in search of that that is uh, going to give you fulfillment. Um, the Hermit is also kind of very, very uh, of self-reflection, you know, spending a lot of time by yourself and thinking about what happened and you know trying to shed some light on the situation as well and trying to get it through heaven you know with guidance with um angelic or heavenly guidance maybe you're praying about it as well so you are trying to move away um and you are relying on yourself because this hermit has got the stick and he's you know relying on his own strength to get him out of the situation so you are trying to pull yourself out of the situation you've got the king the high priestess uh you know somebody uh, relying a lot on their intuition uh lying relying a lot on um you know maybe dreams visions it's also a card that says you know you need to wait um and uh wait for the phase to uh move along because um the high priestess is a card that rule, rules cycles uh and you know as these moon cycles go past uh the you know everything will start sorting itself out information that has been hidden from you will come to light you can see these two uh, cherubs whispering in her ear. So somebody's going to come and tell you uh, what's going on and, and enlighten you about it. So you just need to wait. Somebody will come and tell you what is going on. Uh, and in the meantime, whatever secrets or whatever things that you have, you need to keep it to yourself, especially with the high priestess. She doesn't speak unless uh, people ask her direct questions. So it seems like you don't... You shouldn't volunteer any information unless, of course, somebody comes and asks you specifically about it. So try and keep things to yourself. And you've got the King of Cups. Um, it looks like, uh, you know, uh, somebody finally coming in um, to help you out. So this might be somebody, uh, you know, maybe from the medical profession, uh, somebody that's a counselor, uh, somebody that you need to go and ask some advice from. Uh, and this is going to help you, uh, you know, move away. You've got the ship sailing away. The clouds are very dark over here. So, you know, maybe you are feeling very down and very depressed um, and you need to go and ask for some kind of help, assistance, guidance, maybe from a professional person or anybody that is really very emotionally supportive. This will be the person to ask for that advice and help from. And they will be able to help you um, without actually having 
you know, they don't have any hidden agendas uh, and they're not self-serving. So it's somebody that you can actually trust and you need to actually ask them for help uh, to walk, be able to walk away from the situation that you've been in. Okay, so uh, let's draw some cards from this, oops, from the Angel Tarot. That's the first one that fell. Okay, so the first card is the Nine of Earth, which is saying enjoying life's little luxuries, spending tw quiet time alone, successful uh, self-employment. So you will be earning pretty well. Uh, you know, you'll be very, very uh, financially self-sufficient. The Nine of Earth is like the Nine of Pentacles. And, you know, there's recognition, but it's also spending a lot of time by yourself, maybe getting back to nature as well. Um, you need to heal from a situation and it seems like, you know, this healing is coming with you spending a lot of time by yourself and getting over um, what has happened. Then you've got the King of Water, which is the same as the King of Cups over here. And it says, um, somebody who is trustworthy, compassionate, respected and cultured. Open your heart and mind to those around you. Uh, trustworthy and heartfelt advice. So it looks like there is somebody there to support you through this uh, situation and they're very, very trustworthy and it's somebody that you can rely on. And the last card is the Page of Fire, which says news of an exciting new endeavor. Use your originality and ingenuity um, and you need to be outgoing, creative, confident and mischievous. Now this is the Page of Fire and it almost... Um, you know, is in keeping with this uh, page, um, with this Ace of Rods coming in. So there is something very new coming in. The news is coming in with the page of fire. So somebody bringing in this news or it's coming in in the form of information. And it's a news about this new project that is coming in.